And if you were to ask the question, why what keeps the moon around the earth and what why does the moon keep going around the earth? A classic example to take would be to take the example of a ball tied to a string. So if you're a guy you tie a ball to a string and start spinning it around you, right? What do you observe? At at every point, why isn't the ball just flying away? If you were to cut the string, what would happen? The ball just begins to fly away somewhere, right? But the ball is continuously going around your hand where you're holding it. And at every point, what are you doing? How would you feel a pull in your hand? You would feel a pull outwards and the ball would feel a pull inwards, right? So in other words, at every point you're pulling the ball inwards. If you did not, the ball would be flying away. If you were even if you're standing in a if you play this game where people hold their two hands like that and start spinning around, yeah, it's how I've seen this in schools a lot of times. Yeah, where two people hold their hands like this and start spinning around. At every point, the one person is pulling the other person inwards. So even if you take the ball in a string example, at every point the ball feels a pull from the string inwards. If that is true, what happens to the ball? It goes in a circle. Right? In this case, who's pulling it inwards? Your hand or in one sense the tension in the string, right? The tension is pulling it inwards. So if you were to take this example and replace your hand with the earth, the ball with moon, and that tension that pulls the two of you as gravity, then wouldn't it make a lot of sense that the moon keeps going around the earth? Because even though the tension keeps pulling it inwards just the right amount at every single point, that keeps the moon going around the earth just like it keeps the ball going around your hand. Now the interesting thing here is this kind of a force that's always pointing towards the center, right? At every single point, wherever you have it, it's pointing towards a particular central point. It's called a centripetal force. Centri meaning center and petal meaning seeking. Center seeking force. A center seeking force continuously keeps pushing this body towards the center because otherwise this body would have flown away straight in a straight line. So we've introduced a new word for you called centripetal force. Just means that it's a special force that keeps acting towards a fixed center. You might ask, so does that mean the moon go around the earth in a circle? Well, approximately, it actually goes around in what's called an ellipse, like we told you. Planets go around the earth in elliptical orbits. But for our purpose here, we are making an approximation that is almost circular. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's the learning app today.